The Project Navigator in AutoCAD MEP 2010 is a fantastic way to manage and coordinate your drawings. In this particular project I've got a variety of architectural, civil, mechanical and structural arrangements. In the project you can see the assigned levels for each floor you can, and the constructs which are the physical drawings that make up the floors. I also have views that will represent my plans, sections and elevations that will finally want into my sheets. Let's take a look at the constructs and say we're the mechanical engineer we want to work on the ground floor. We just have the mechanical arrangement here. Rather than have the architectural and structural in as well, that will make my drawing rather heavy. If I need to reference the information in, I simply drag and drop the architectural ground floor from the project navigator to the screen. And this is now as part of the external reference. If I'm working in a coordinated environment or multidiscipline, if the architect say changes the door or position in here and saves the drawing and the mechanical engineer has it referenced he'll get a notification saying that it needs to be reloaded so when I reload this door will be updated. This allows me the flexibility of my design to make decisive changes and to carry on working on my mechanical layout. But not only that we're actually getting a coordinated approach to our model. If we take this to a 3D view you'll see that all the 3D um, elements are being represented in here. So if I shade these elements out, you'll see this in the background. This helps me coordinate between all my disciplines. So here we've got the structural layouts, we've got the mechanical layout as well. To bring further information from the project navigator to the screen, we simply drag and drop. I might need my structural for my first floor. I might need my structural for my foundation or my structural for my ground in here. I might need additional information like my heating and ventilation again for my first floor and then I can add all my architectural components in the background. Again we could build this up and add in the architectural for the first floor then the architectural for the roof. So we're getting a more realistic representation of our building model. So we can see foundations, the pile cap details which we can now add in we've got our full building model that's easy to represent for our client and also take a coordinated approach to the whole building. Finally I'll add in the physical site model by dragging and dropping. If I take this back to a plan view this means that I can actually take section information throughout my building. So if I go back to my view on my ribbon or my home we can take a section line throughout the building. take my section line, generate a section within the current drawing, we can select the individual objects to actually section and pick our position and then hit OK and allow our section to be generated. The section will be generated very very detailed. From a manual duty point of view this would take a long time in CAD and again any changes will be updated throughout the section. Not only that, we can publish this information for our client using the DWF um, E commands. So we can use DWF publish. And we can publish this out as a 3D model. So I'm going to publish this to my desktop and then we'll view the 3D model. This is fantastic for the client who doesn't have access to AutoCAD MEP. We can then view the file in the free viewer. The DWFX command now comes in. This allows the client the flexibility to actually view orbit and have a look at the model. Again you'll see familiar features such as the view cube. Allowing you to orbit, spin, pivot on the actual drawing. We can use our actual tools to take section information through the drawing. So we can section it in the XY plane. As you can see, and again we can navigate and control this by simply pulling back the section area that we want to have a look at. Again, this gives the client a very accurate representation of what's going on in their building.